We know a lot about uh, Mandy Fair and Dave McGraw. We met them in uh, at the Roots, no, at the Country Festival. Oh yeah. In it's a long time, a long time. Yeah, 2014. Yeah. 14 probably. You were yeah. there. They only <laughs> succeeded two times to do it, the festival, but you were in the oh. first edition. And they had all the fog machines. And yeah, 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 yeah. Beautiful yeah. pictures. Yeah. yeah. They were doing it near a castle. Yes. Yeah. And the second time in town, but that was not a good edition, no. Mm. And I stopped, I don't know why. Huh. So, that was our first time that we yeah. met, a long time ago, but uh, last year we were on a boat, the three of us. I read something about uh, chasing, oh no, that's not correct, uh, uh, spotting whales, yes. not chasing. No, yeah, no, no definitely, <laughs> no, yeah. Why, why did you need to have a boat trip or stay out or, to, to yeah. why, why? It's a very you good needed question. a yeah, so it, we'd been touring for about seven years, nonstop, kind of full time on the road, and um, we decided it would be a good idea to take some time <coughs> away from the road to kind of get some perspective. Yeah. And um, we really wanted to go explore the waters near where we live on San Juan Island. So right in, north of us is British Columbia, and all these beautiful yeah. islands. Um, and Vancouver Island is right across from us. Um, and so it just so happened that our buddy Tom over here moved from the desert of Arizona up to the San Juan Islands. You, you needed and water, Tom. He, he yes. needed water. I needed water. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And so he had a boat that he's living on, a oh, sailboat. It was his boat. Yes. Yeah. So he took and you did the sailing yourself, Tom? The three of us did. Oh, yep. you are all he's professionals. The he's, he's, captain. The captain. he's the captain. He's the captain. captain. Definitely not professionals. <laughs> but we, we survived. We yeah. survived. <laughs> yes. We made it work. Yes. So you met and you said, yeah, let's do the the boat uh, trip, and uh, but you also wrote songs during we, the trip. We didn't write so much during the trip, but we kind of we kind of put music aside for a little bit, yeah. and um, but we did. I did a lot of journaling, which actually helped my writer's block. Oh, music now, no, on daily, your daily daily yeah. journaling about yeah. what we were doing and seeing. Yeah, yeah. And then when we got home from the trip, I think it warmed up my I writing brain a little bit. I have to bit. say that your boat colleagues, you're doing about the same job in the... No, no. What? Are Tom and, uh, and Dave? No, no. I, I don't understand. I'm, I'm so sorry. wrong informed, but you're, you're doing this, the same things in your free time? Oh. Uh, Tom and... Then. We, we were, yeah. Oh, you, you so were, yes. We, so Dave and I met back in 2002, a long time ago, uh, working as biologists. Ah, oh, yes, oh, that, that, that was the, something that I had. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah good, good memory. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. yeah, that was uh, coming up on 20 years ago almost. And, and so we knew each other well before we started playing music together. Uh, but also both musicians. We, we kind of turned into musicians. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We weren't playing much music at that time. So we, we were out in the middle of the desert working on these birds, or studying these birds, and, uh, and we kind of, Dave had been writing some songs and we kind of needed something to do, and so we decided it'd be fun to, to and play music. And he learned the bass just to play with me because there was no one else around, so he... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There, there weren't many bass players, players in the desert, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Good so friend. I, I picked up the job. But who came with the idea to form a new band or to start a new project? Uh, because you have always been hmm. on your two. I two think that the songs decided for themselves and not us. I think the... Was it the because of the extra instruments? The extra yeah. instruments and, and kind of... We were writing songs that felt a little bit more um, rockin' to us. Yeah, yeah, and a little bit more of um, a are. band name versus um, us songwriter name and I think um, it was a marketing idea as well because it's we think it was a little harder to remember Dave McGraw and Mandy Fair versus Sway Wild and um, just and those, kind of yeah I think yeah. the names Dave McGraw and Mandy Fair might have sounded a little folkier than mm -hmm. our so, music was so yeah. the band name so kind of more rock and roll more folk, yeah, yeah, yeah so it's kind of a rebirth if you will. Yeah. but that also meant that you have to change things mm -hmm. Dave back from mm. where he started from behind yeah. the yeah and it was fun to be able to communicate with Mandy musically in a way that I haven't 
I can't keep up with her on guitar. So uh, playing the drums, we were able to kind of yeah communicate. Yeah. yeah well, I can. Like we told, uh, also a bass, a bass player. Yeah. Yes. And Mandy Beck as a chief. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly, and all electric for In all now. the songs, what I saw today, you're doing you're doing the lead. So simple as yeah. it. Mm, mm. That's good. It's I'm, fun. Yeah. I know it's, it's very cool. good. And that's it. It was fun. So the the three of us would get together in our living room and Dave and I's living room and. We would just play. We would jam out when we were taking some time off the road, not thinking about, okay, we're going to make this song to sell or anything. Yeah. And, we, and it's just kind of the music started leading the way. And then we were like, okay, we should listen to mm -hmm. what we're doing and just make this music decision. for the sake of just yeah, music. Yeah, just playing, which was so fun. Yeah. yeah. What we couldn't hear today was the, the extra things on the, on the album. Yes. More people that are singing. Mm hmm. Like, did you want that, that or why? Guess because people of the, the birds of uh, Chicago, yes. they helped you. We love them. And they're so great. And you know them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Chicago, I thought that we saw them in Ospel, I think. I think yes. two, two Maybe, three yeah. years ago, they were in Ospel. They're wonderful. Birds of Chicago. Yeah, yeah we, we heard harmonies. their harmonies and it was so fun yeah. to get they did their the tracks when they would send them from Nashville. You hear just their voices. and. Um, on Chimney Fire, you'll hear JT at the end going, Yeah! It was a really like awesome. A yeah. <laughs> like so when we first heard it, we're like, oh, this is yeah, so was, awesome. That was the second one, yeah. Yeah, it was yeah. perfect. He's <laughs> an uh, actor, singer. I, we, I don't know him personally. Oh, it's, but. <coughs> it's different than the actor. Um, the actor, Sean Hayes, is on TV, but the singer, Sean Hayes, is a different guy. Yeah, he's great. But he's an amazing singer out of. California. Yeah, but one of our favorites. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But there is many more on the album. Also, like you told us, a trumpet and a, yeah. a sax player, I think. Mm -hmm. And trombone. Some one. The vi violin. Yes, uh, Anna Tivol. You know Anna Tivol? Yeah. She's comes here. Anna, yeah, I, I know her Martin. from somewhere. Yeah. Jeffrey Martin and Anna Tivol. She's a fantastic songwriter. That they were just here, like last week. And uh, the, the other lady, Anna Anna Fritz, or the mm -hmm. cello. She's lovely as well. You needed all those people and those instruments on the album, or? Yeah, I think there was just yeah they were calling out for a bigger sound. And it's really fun in Portland where we recorded Portland, Oregon. There's so many musicians and so many artists and people. So it's just this amazing kind of musician soup that we could pull from of people that played there and worked in the studio occasionally like the horn players from March 4th marching band which you should look up as well there yeah awesome and then you went to the studio with uh, all the new songs and you choose out I don't know much 10 songs mm -hmm. that's not that much because I think you did more songwriting than, than only yeah. this 10 ones so the the double vinyl has 14 oh. songs so there are four all new songs mm -hmm. that, yeah that only live on vinyl for now. Yeah. And what I read about the album was the next thing somebody described it as a musical hotship watch. Do you know hotship watch? <laughs> oh, I like the word. That's <laughs> a mix, a mix yeah. of all uh, styles. Yeah. yeah. But they he wrote it a hotship watch. Oh. I like that word, <laughs> but uh, a hotship watch, a, a mix yeah. of. A lot of things. It yeah, is. Definitely it is. a mix. Yeah. That's yeah. yes, good, okay. I think in every show we try and kind of like take people to, I don't I feel like we'd go in a lot of different places, like sometimes like the intimate harmonies and then the big explosion jams and then, you know, the happy sing-along stuff. Um, so we try and kind of make it a, where you feel all the feelings. <laughs> to inform yeah. your best player, how long will the project how long do you plan this project? For Sway Wild? Uh, yeah. To continue? It? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I hope so. As long as he's doing it. Yeah. Maybe he must go and look for another job. I don't no, know. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, keep my eyes open. Yeah. <laughs> keep swaying wild as long so, as So we, we can. can expect more. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. And there's songs coming out we of it. We still have a lot more songs. Yeah. There's yeah. a bunch of Dave songs mm -hmm. that we're going to try and record, um, at least a few this winter. If I say this on camera, we will do it. Yeah. Um, so we need to get him singing more and moving more with this project. So. More more uh, things that you want to do or more uh, items on your uh, bucket list, no? Mm, bucket list. 
like in so, general in life or as a band? <laughs> Just do it with the band. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I really want to go to Asia. I've never been. Um, what do you guys want to do? I think go, go to Asia. Yeah, we're, yeah. we want to go Be tour in to Japan. <laughs> we've, we've talked a lot about playing in Japan as well. We'd yeah, like to do that at some point. Yeah. Because, because you're both very yeah rather young yeah so uh, you have to do more things so <laughs> yeah. not not only two projects not yeah. only your as, as, but you have to do more yes yeah, yeah. so in, in a way we are wondering what will be the the next uh, the sequel so the sequel yeah yeah I think we're just figuring that out as we some shows we're starting to get more experimental and <coughs> improvise and yeah. so we'll play like a. A song that's three and a half minutes on the album, we might jam for yeah. six minutes and Work it out. we're learning to yeah. um, grow in that way. And so. We might one day have a horn player with us, that'd be really fun. Yes, yeah, so that, that we were hoping yeah. too, yes, because yeah. Yeah, that yeah. would be very, very special. It's yeah. kind of a dream be and fun. it's been really fun to play just as a trio and see what we can do, but it would be really nice to have another bed yeah. that we could put the music on top of. Um, so we'll see where that leads. But. So that were my five questions. Right. All right. I found it very, very good that you found some uh, some time for us. Oh, thank right. you for In these busy you days, because you are going to Den Haag, Bergen op Zoom, Ede, Rotterdam, Amen, and a lot of other places here in yes. Holland. But please don't forget that. We won't. We hope to come we back. We have to go to, to the yes. south, yes. cross yes. the border. We love Belgium we every time. And you meet <laughs> lovely people. You're in Belgium. We, we love it. Please, yeah. you're welcome. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mandy. Thank you so much. Thank you for having us.